So Charles Hancock, otherwise known as Old Alabama Gardener, lost 15 pounds in less than two months. Um, <clears throat> that's quite a feat for a 79-year-old. And when he told me about doing it, he said it wasn't that big of a deal. Again, even if you just drop your carbs, which is what he did, that's a lot of weight, again, for a 79-year-old. So <clears throat> we're going to go through some interview with him and find out what he did, get some details. Now, there's one point in this, uh, in one clip in this video where he talks about uh, fructose, high fructose corn syrup and having uh, Cokes and Pepsis and sodas in your hand all day. He's not referring to his habit. He's just referring to the statement, as you'll hear, that that's causing a lot of people a lot of damage. And I agree with him. After the interview, we'll show you a little bit more about uh, Charles, and maybe you can understand a little bit more about how he could lose so much weight so fast. By the way, remember, you're going to see a lot of pixelation. Charles lives way out in the country in Alabama and doesn't get a good bandwidth. Despite all of that, again, just another challenge that he overcomes in terms of developing his YouTube channel. And we'll talk a little bit more about that after the video as well. A year ago, my diet wasn't quite as good. Yes, I ate a lot of things that I grow in the garden, but occasionally, and you, you occasionally, uh, I would have a soda. Uh, and of course, mm. I know, uh, yeah, and occasionally, uh, I would have uh, uh, maybe something sweet, you know, uh, maybe a piece of pie or. Uh, I wasn't into donuts and stuff like that, but uh, so that was a problem now that I look back and, uh, and I see this quite often and I know maybe people don't really appreciate that, but the American food today, fast food, high fructose corn syrup, having a cola in your hand all day long is killing Americans at a faster rate than ever before. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, once I was uh, told uh, by my OGTT test that I was diabetic, I immediately made even more changes because I, I was still eating. Uh, I'm going to admit it. I'm a country boy. I love cornbread and I love biscuits. Uh, so I would still have cornbread and, and biscuits along with my other uh, food. But once I was told that I'm diabetic and that those are high carbohydrate foods and I needed to cut them out, I did. Uh, and so I, at that point, I weighed about 165 pounds. And now today I weigh 150 pounds. And that's only been a couple months ago. I mean, I dropped 15 pounds quick because I cut out carbohydrates. That's amazing. So you're what, 5'9? You weighed yeah. 165. That's not a, you weren't a heavy person. No. But you noticed that you had some problems with, uh, with, metab with digesting and metabolizing carbs. So you started cutting the basic ones out simple cornbread, uh, flour, stuff like that. And within what, six weeks, you dropped 15 pounds? Yeah. That's I huge. Yeah, I'm going to I'm I'm not going to take my clothes off, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> Let's see. I get up here where I can where I can do it. Uh, this is clothes that I've been wearing all summer. Can you see? Can, uh, you, see, can you see the gap there? Uh, just barely. Every time you move, Charles, what it does oh, is it, it fogs up the. Uh, the thing but there you go yeah you can fit your whole arm down in your in your uh waist yeah. your belt yeah. yeah yeah that's a that's a pretty dramatic demonstration now did you get really tired or grumpy or what they call hangry when you lost all that weight actually uh no 
actually I felt you may not be able to hear me. What's that? No, I no, I did not. Uh, a matter of fact, I started feeling better. I told my wife, I said, I am feeling better. And remember, I'm 79 years old. I told my wife, I said, I'm feeling better after having cut out the carbohydrates than I have felt in years. And see, another thing that I had uh, going on, this sounds, uh, and I don't, and this doesn't happen to me anymore. And I'm talking about now before I made these significant changes, uh, I would, I loved corn chips, like uh, tortilla chips. So yeah. I was, so I was a tortilla chip junkie. Um, I had tortilla chips every day, which is corn. Yeah. And um, so when I cut that out, it I'm is. So I listen, I am so happy, not that I got diabetes, but I am so happy that that was a wake up call to make me change because I don't want to have another coronary artery event. You know, I, 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 I guess I can't overemphasize uh, how important it is. Now, I, the doctors are important, and we need doctors. Uh, there's a lot of times where you've got to have a doctor because nothing else is going to get you through it. And I've been through it, so I know. But I can't overemphasize how important it is to take your own health to some extent into your own hands. Yeah. You know, a lot of docs start out doing the right thing, but then um, they get a lot of pushback. So yeah. there's reasons well, that the docs do what they do. Yeah. Well, the message there is the doctor cannot do it for you. And, exactly. there, is, and there is no magic pill. There is not. There's no pill that's going to fix these problems. Here's the person that can do it. You, you, you see him in the mirror. <laughs> yes. There you have it. He dropped his carbs. He got rid of those corn chips. Uh, but also, again, he's 79. That's a, a major change. So <clears throat> I told you, I've told you a couple of times about his ability to plan through the entire growing season of his um of now his, is the time of the year that we're starting this? to grow the greens. And this one is talking about kale. I'm laying out some rows. See, he's moving fast there. <clears throat> no, actually, he's now obviously. If you want it to grow good, you got to give it some nitrogen. So we're going to add two kinds. We're going to put triple 13, which will give it a jump start. And we're going to put some liquid rabbit boot soup. So just a point, Charles shared with me that he's out gardening most of the day, about nine months of the year. In fact, one of the things that we talked about was how to get exercise during those three months. Uh, as I mentioned to you, he does a great job in terms of going all the way from planting all the way through the different stages of development of the plant. <clears throat> Here he's planting them. And uh, going through, again, different levels of, uh, that's when the plants were small, and that's when the plants were big. So now, as I mentioned before, he's also going through how to uh, make a, a smoothie with it. So he starts off pretty good. Now, this was in October of 2018. Get some good almond uh, milk, kale. Um <clears throat> And then a little bit later, we see that he adds uh, some pineapple. So uh, I'd add one pineapple cube and half of a frozen banana. So that was before he found out that he was diabetic. So things have changed. Uh, so it wasn't just... Uh, those those corn chips that uh, that he changed, especially if you're trying to control your blood sugar. 
This is a, a uh, bacon and egg sandwich that he made using, again, he made the bread. He's uh, always had a lot of videos about making uh, white bread and um, biscuits and uh, cornbread. In fact, I've, I got uh, inspired to make some of my own biscuits. I'm making mine with coconut and they're great. But now he's making his bread low carb. Anybody that's diabetic or pre-diabetic, um, you need to switch over to using almond flour, as you saw me do in this recipe, and make these little buns like this uh, to use. You can do this with hamburger. You could, instead of bacon, I could have put sausage in there. We could have had a sausage and we'll call it a biscuit for lack of a better term. Um, you could toast them and make uh, uh, garlic croutons with it if you wanted to. And, and we'll do some of that in later videos. But now you know what I'm going to say, don't you? I'm gonna, yep, you're right. I'm going to say it. I wish I could share this with you. I wish I could give you a bite of it so you can see how good it really is. It's, it's good. Uh, and you know what else? I could have put a little bit of lettuce on there made it even a little bit better, perhaps. But... We have another bite. So that's old Alabama gardener. He's gone low carb, dropped to 15 pounds. And as you can see, he's a fairly act, uh, he's an athletic guy for uh, 79. If you've made it this far, as usual, thank you so much for your interest.